Jackson, Alabama, with a very special player right now. Guy's been on our show before. Really highly talented player. I'm gonna let this gentleman introduce himself at this time. Uh, J and J Money Lewis, class 24 DB. J Money, last time we talked to you, you know, last year y'all, you guys were on quote unquote like a revenge tour, right? And it worked out for the most part. You guys got a lot of revenge on a lot of guys. You didn't win that ultimate prize, which was that blue mat, but you did get some really big victories along the way. Talk about last season before we dive into this this season. Just to sum it up for us. I say last season was very disappointing. Uh, we did, like you said, we did get a lot of revenge on some guys, but we wanted the blue map. You know, at the end of the day, we wanted the blue map, and it was a losing season. We didn't get the blue map, so that's how I feel about it. It was a losing season. No doubt. Now your coaches, they obviously have high expectations for you guys. Right. Which should be the standard here at Anderson. You guys have multiple athletes that are high high profile players, but you got a lot of hard working guys behind the scenes. Talk about this group here at Anderson, and uh, you grew up in it. You've been around it your whole life, and how special this group of guys is right now. This group of guys, man, I love them guys, man. It's like family. It's a real brotherhood. Um, one thing about um, last year was we didn't have a lot of discipline, but this year we really locked in, you know, dialed in, and um, a lot of guys take hard coaching. Last year, everybody was getting their feelings, you know. This year, it's a real disciplined team, and it, it really changed. So last year, a lot of people looked at Scooby as the, the guy on the team, obviously, which taking nothing away from Scooty, one of the best athletes that ever came to this yeah. county, a uh, good friend of yours. But now all that kind of weight, like athlete-wise, goes on your shoulders. Um, and you had to learn something from Scooty, not only from a friend standpoint, but a recruiting standpoint. He had to help guide you through that. What does that look like, seeing him go through that one year before you? Uh, we really, we really went through it around the same time. So. We was really learning a lot of stuff together and, you know, just um, like you said, him teaching me a lot of stuff on the field, off the field about like uh, discipline. Again, um, eating right, you know, going to sleep on time. He taught me a, it's a lot of stuff. On and off. All, on and off the field. We made a post about you last year when we was talking about the most underrated player in the state. And um, the 247 backed that up and gave me a four-star ranking. When that came out, what did that mean to you personally? Did you feel that was validation or it still made you hungry? You wanted that fifth sword? I don't need none of that. <laughs> I, know, I, 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 know what I, I'm the, I know what I'm capable of. I really don't need nobody to tell me. But, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. At the end of the day, though, what you want is the blue map. You right, that's all I want. I want. Yeah. Blue what do you think you got to do to make that happen here? Obviously, being a leader of this football team. Uh, leadership. What well, we didn't have last year from the seniors, um, which I'm not a senior, I'm still a junior, but still leadership. Um, another coach on the field, you know. Um, that's really it. The leadership. Showing okay. the young guys the right way how to do things. Talk about what your else? relationship with Coach Ball. Coach Ball. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Man. That relationship, man, I, um, that's one of the coaches that really, you know, he really care about his players. Um, you know, it's it's a lot I can say. It's, it's a lot. Great man. Yeah, great man. Another father figure to a lot of guys on the team. You know, he really took took on a big role. In the he helped guys outside of Anson. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Uh, talk about Coach Wilder. Coach White, uh, real hardcore. Uh, he loved, he loved, like, just like Coach Ball, he loved it like we his own kids. Uh, you know, he he don't take no slack, you know, from nobody. And that's, that's, that's really about it, about all our coaches. Coach White's in his prime. You think you make a play on him? <laughs> <laughs> I had a mess with him. Give me your final thoughts about this upcoming season on the decent defensive standpoint of this football team. Final thoughts. Um, fast, physical, sound, discipline. That's really all I, I can say for real. Two more weeks, you know, everybody see. Love it. Appreciate you sitting in with us. Thank you, sir. Uh, back here in Anniston, Alabama, two very special gentlemen, and I'm going to let these gentlemen introduce themselves at this time. Uh, I'm Rock Quinn, McGillery, Cameron Sam. All right. 
guys, last year you guys were, I said the same thing to Jay Money, kind of like a redemption tour. You feel like you needed to get some redemption on some teams that kind of snuck up on you guys. And obviously you got some of that back, obviously. And, uh, but you ultimately didn't win the, the prize that you wanted, which is that blue map. Uh, talk about last season before we start diving into this season. You got some of what you wanted, but it wouldn't all of what you wanted. We'll let Rock West know. Uh, last season was kind of disappointing. Um, feel like I let the team down. Me personally, I feel like I let the team down. I didn't lead as much as I should have, but this year um, I changed my mindset. And um, this year I feel real good about this season. Um, my teammates got some young guys that's gonna produce for us, and then we got a whole senior class that's coming back that's real big, and we got some good players in um, Jay Money's class as well. No doubt. Cam, same question. Mean, yeah, just like our quiz, I feel like we let the city down with that. I feel like we should have came a little more harder, but then again, we got one more year. We got one more year, then we got a lot of freshmen coming up, and I feel like we're ready for this year. Cam, you specifically, I mean, all eyes on you at the quarterback position. There's times last year that couldn't nobody defend you guys, and there's times y'all struggled a little bit. What do you think it's going to take to get that consistency, like consistency all the way through? I, mean, I feel like we're just going to have to come out smooth and not just come out so fast on the ball. I feel like we'll come out real good. No doubt. Rock Quay, same kind of question for you. Games are – you can have all athletes in the world, but if you ain't good up front, you ain't going to win. Talk about you and that offensive line. Uh, basically, that's that's where the games are going to be won in those trenches. And, and, and that, a lot of that goes on your shoulders because you're the leader of that offensive line. Uh, yes, sir. Um, we got a veteran offensive line. Um, all the linemen coming back. We've been all of us three or four year starters. Been playing since the ninth grade and eighth grade. Um, just being a leader um, to the offensive linemen, knowing like we got to block for Cam, got to block for the whole offense, got to block for the whole team. Um, we don't block. We don't win games. It's that simple. Um, it's no offense without the line. Um, Cam know that. Everybody else on the team knows that. Um, can't score points without a good line. And then having us coming back um, this year. Um, we're going we're gonna to take over. Ain't no doubt. Now I'm going to ask both of you guys this question. Both of you guys are highly recruited athletes and deservingly so. Have y'all found that to be a headache or a blessing along the way? Each one of you guys can answer that. Both. 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 What's the hard part about it? I mean, really the hard part is you're trying to take all the coaches back at the same time because you got some coaches that it takes you right, right at the same time as another coach takes you. Well, the same thing. Um, they really, especially if they really want you, really want you. Um, they like they'll blow you up like constantly, and then um, you know you can legally like talk to them until like September first of junior year. But then like right after then, like it's like it's, floodgates. Yeah, it's like every, everybody's coming in like hot, and um, like I said, like they really want you. Like they gonna best try to talk to you like every other day or like literally every day. Seeing you guys and Jay Money all super highly recruited athletes here at the same school, the expectations has to be through the roof. I want you to talk about those expectations because real athletes, they love that. They don't shy away from it. Actually, they, they absorb it. They want more of it. Talk about that, each one of you guys, from, from a player's standpoint. I mean, I feel like, yes, our high, our high expectation is real high because, you know, you got four stars, three stars all on this team. And our coaches, you just won't have them being got a good team. So, I mean, our coaches, they, see, they want to see a lot of us. No doubt. Uh, seeing us, um, like, we just got high expectations from everybody. So, uh, the status that we have, um, don't overlook it. Um, just, we tell ourselves every day, like, we're just a regular person like everybody else. But at the same time, we worked hard to get where we are today. And um, those high expectations, of course, they're going to be expected with the statuses that we have. And um, we got plenty more guys that's going to have a status just like us by the time we get ready to go. So um, just we're going to lead the way with the torch, and then when it's the time for us to pass it down, we're going to pass it down. Do you guys look around? You see new locker room floor, new renovations all throughout your field house, new weight room floor, new weights. What does that mean to you personally, knowing that you guys had a big, big part in that, that when y'all leave here, it, that y'all built this foundation that's going to you know, make future Anderson teams look better? Uh, it's just, I just, like all of us, like we just look at it as a blessing because um, all of us, like coming from Anderson, you're not supposed to make it out or you're not supposed to be big at anything. Like you're not supposed to be good at anything really because people look down on us. And from where we came from, um, our, everything that we got, like you said, from the new ways, uh, everything getting renovated, like new flooring, everything like that, new jerseys and stuff like that stuff meaning a lot to us because before, like when we first started out, especially like our ninth grade too, because I was on that fourth round team, like we didn't have much. Like, Anderson used to not have it much, but now, like, 
Um, we getting people that actually like care about us and want to be a part of like our football team, our organization, like building up our foundation. So um, it's just a huge blessing, really. Um, it's just we came a long way. Like we work hard to get where we at today, and a lot of people don't recognize that or really see that because they're not here every day with us doing it. No doubt. Same that's question. I look at it at like Rockwoods. I look at it as like a blessing because if you've been here, you wouldn't think we have nothing like this. Like, like when I first came here, you didn't. I didn't see nothing like this. Then, like, as soon as we started like going up, blessings start coming. Cam, uh, final go around for you right here. Give us your final thoughts on this upcoming season. Uh, I feel undefeated. We're undefeated. I feel like we still like we got our whole offensive back. Yeah, I got Coach Ball. He's working with the defense hard, and I know he's working hard because that's all, that's what he loves to do. So I feel like we're gonna go in the field. Ain't no doubt. Yes, sir. Uh, same question. Same same thing with Cameron. I feel like we're gonna go undefeated. I don't feel like no team can beat us this season at all. But that's just me. Um, I feel like we work too hard. Well, I know we work too hard, and then we prepare ourselves too much to not win it all this year. But then again, like we always say, taking one game at a time. But our main focus right now is not even the state championship. We just focus on Weber. Then we're going to yes, sir. They were going to beat them. Then the next thing, Billy Rigby beat them. Then the next thing, beat them. It's just we're going one game at a time. Yes, sir. Hey, David Goggins says it best. If y'all don't think it, then ain't nobody going to think it. You can't dream it into existence by not thinking it. Then it ain't going to happen for sure. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys sitting in. I know y'all got practice coming up. Thank you so much. Good luck this season. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, we are here in Anniston, Alabama with head coach Rico White. Coach, last year we had the privilege to come out and do a coach's show with you guys. Uh, had a lot of big positive things come out of that coach's show. Obviously, Kia of Anniston Oxford wanted to sign on again and do that. Um, before we dive into this season, let's rewind the clock. And much like I told the players earlier, the players had a mentality of like a revenge tour last year. And they got a lot of that revenge. But I know you guys set your goals on that blue map. Uh, you came short of that, but you did accomplish a lot of good things. So let's rewind the clock to last year and take us back in your thoughts of last season. Okay, well, you know, last season we prepared. I mean, had a great off season and uh, had some great pieces that came out, like Antonio Kite, guys like that, that played. So expectations were high, and um, we expected much more. You know, unfortunately, we uh, went down to uh, St. James in the first round. We uh, came up short. Uh, that game just uh, came out flat, didn't play a real good game. Um, a lot of coaches, we didn't get them up where we should have got them, you know. But um, we we going to build off that. This year, we got a veteran team, we are, and um, we're looking forward to this season. But as far as last season, I can't say as far as I'm concerned, it was a big, big disappointment. Yeah. Now, Coach, offensively, you definitely got a lot of guys back, a lot of key weapons and a lot of really good positions. Let's start on the offensive side of the football, what you have returning this year and the confidence you have in those guys. Well, up front, I mean, we got a senior line. You know, we got players like Rock West, Mike Elger, um, Melika Harris, and so forth. Those guys are humongous and um, college prospects, and they're high energy guys, and they know the plan. Uh, at QB, and, um, Cam, Cam, uh, I can't say enough about Cameron. You know, he's going to lead the way, and uh, he, um, I think he's me on the field now. He, he see what I see. Uh, it took three years to get there, but we're here now. And um, a good receiver, of course. So we expect some explosive stuff on offense. Coach, from the running back position, you gonna dive into that a little bit? I mean, you got some some guys that can take it to the house with one step, and you got some guys that can take it between the tackles. Talk about that position in, individually. Yes, running back, we we got some guys. I mean, I, I can't say um, uh, Melika Taylor, and um, then you got um, Cunningham. We'll stick him back there also, and then Cam will run the ball also. So we got some guys that can take it to the house and, and know what it takes. You know, I just want to see that hunger. I want to see that desire to get to the end zone every play. So that's our goal for them. Cutting kind of a Swiss Army now for you, but he may show up anywhere on the field, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, Jalen, Jalen Cunningham, we can put him wherever. So. That's right. He's a very dynamic player. Now let's swap this thing over and talk about the defensive side of the ball for a little bit. Obviously, you got some returning guys there from a, a very talented, very fast and aggressive defense. Jay Money said it himself in there this year. He said he's going to take on that role himself. They're going, they're going to dive in about the discipline and take care of the little things this year. Talk about that defensive unit you got coming back. Yeah, we have we have a great group coming back, especially up front once again. And um, I think we had to replace some linebackers and get tough in that position. Uh, in the secondary, uh, Jay Money have really led the way. Been very vocal 
And our, our biggest thing is being disciplined and playing hard. A lot of folks think when you say discipline, that's not doing what you're supposed to do. It's the small things. It's the small thing, having discipline when the coach is not watching or not looking or not there. Are you going to carry out your assignment? So that's the biggest thing with our defense. And they, they're an exciting bunch. Now, when Alabama comes in and takes a guy to the next level from your secondary, that's a huge loss, obviously. But when you got a guy like Jay Money who's coming up and has another season, even after this one, to go, but he learned from, from Spooty. Yes. Talk about Jay Money and how, just how important he is, not only to the secondary and this defense, but this whole team in general. Jay Money, I tell you what, he was one of those guys that uh, when he came from middle school, he was a quarterback, you know, and he was just that athletic. And uh, everybody was thinking Jay Money was going to be the next quarterback. But we moved him to defensive back, and he had really flourished flourish in it. Um, got several offers to play defensive back on the next level. And he's very vocal. And he always talked to Antonio Kite about what it takes. How is it on the next level? And Antonio telling me, you got to be vocal. you got to communicate. you got to be a leader on and off the field. And Jay Money had really ran with that role. So I'm proud of him and look for big things out of him. Coach, got a couple more questions, and we'll shut it down. Um, when, you, when you come into this season, you obviously know what you got, what you can do with it. What's your biggest concern, and what are some of the things that you can really hang your hat on and say, we're all right in that position? No, uh, my biggest concern is us. You know, I, uh, I don't worry about teams we play. I'm worried about us carrying out assignment, having the discipline to do the job when no one's watching, and uh, just being disciplined overall as a team. Uh, we, work, we worked our tail off this offseason. We're strong. We're fast, we're big, um, we're athletic, but the mental part, that's what's my concern. Make sure you do your job, and uh, we're excited about that. And uh, Other than that, we're just ready to play football. What's your final thoughts um, now that you got your guys out here? It's ba hey, Coach, believe it or not, like a couple weeks, it's go time. Man. We're yeah. that close. What's your final thoughts heading into this all-important ball camp right here that's just started? I'm so glad it started. I mean, last year left, left a terrible taste in my mouth. You know, uh, you work from January all the way up to football season, then lose the first round and come home. That's that's a bad taste. That ain't the standard that we upset around here. So uh, we plan to pick it back up, and um, hey, we got high goals this year. Before we shut this down, talk about the renovations that went on. Obviously, when we walked up, we seen a new paint job. Then we walked in, we see new floors, new locker room, new weight room, new ways. Talk about some of these renovations that went on. The renovations that done took place in there are amazing. Uh, I gotta give credit to Mr. Hopkins, the owner of Kill, uh, Brian, Tell, and Rancho, and Coach Allen, my guy. You know, he's one of the guys that pushed it. They have really been a blessing to uh, Anderson City Schools and the athletic program. The, the kids' eyes light up when they come in there and see, hey, look what we have. You know, Brand normally, you, yes, you go to other places and see all these great things, but it's happening right here in Anderson. We're growing and, and like I said, uh, they told us a phase one, two, and three. And phase one was the weight room in the in the um, field house. So we look for more great things, and we plan to keep building. And I can't thank them enough. Coach, I appreciate your time, and uh, good luck this season. Obviously, we're going to be returning to the Coach Rico White show at Kia this year. And I and, uh, can't thank you enough for doing it. And I got to let you get back to you guys, man. You got practice going on behind us. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get this night practice in and uh, play under the lights wide before school starts. Hey. You know, we're trying to get acclimated. So that's our plan. He is kind of. He, he's cheating uh, He's cheating that midday sun a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. With you. <laughs> All so, right. But y'all do play at this time, so it's still humid and still hot. So. Yes, sir. So we can acclimate to it, and it's, it's fun. All right, Coach. Thank you so much. Thank you.